was opened to open right there. I was doing the same pattern, some of us got off a little bit with our fingering. I started open second, then open first, open first and second, second and third, first and third, all three, and then open and open is a real big jump right here at the end. It's just right there. Ready and same thing, starting on one seat. One and two, my turn. on your performance spotlights. Early I put one on today's uh, assignment online. The page that I passed out to you, okay, this performance spotlights, it's the copy portion of the print run book. Remember when we do full band tomorrow and we play from page 13 or 12 and 13, it is this that Mrs. Thomas is talking about. Yeah, I don't about why I'm and 13. I'm like, no, this is page 12 and 13 copied from the French horn book. Okay, be sure to use that one when we're in full band tomorrow. She asks for line uh, 52 through 58. Any one of those will be reading from that. Um, look at the warm up section. Remember, we had the tone builder and we also had the rhythm etude and the chorale. In the tone builder, we're going to start with the low C. What is the name of the note in measure number two of the tone builder, James? B flat. Yeah, it's B flat. It's B flat because there's one flat in the key signature at the beginning. All right, so that is low B flat, which is first off. Ella, are you chewing on something? Ice, sorry. What is it? Were you chewing on? Ice. Ice, okay, cool. Uh, I, I meant to say this earlier. Um, I have not seen this as a problem in here with us, but there have been some other band classes that I've seen students, maybe from science, getting um, like Jolly Ranchers or something like that, and then coming to band with those in their mouth. Number one, it's a really bad idea to play an instrument with anything in your mouth, period, because it's a choking hazard. Number two, sugars create mold and gross, corrosive stuff that mixes with saliva and the metals inside of your actual French horn and can be very bad for the instrument and can also just be really, really nasty and gross. Okay, so be sure that if you are eating anything, whether it's a sugary candy or just something that you ate for lunch, before you play your instrument, rinse your mouth out good with water and never ever have anything in your mouth like gum or anything like that, that you're, when you're playing your instrument. That's just a public service announcement. Like I said, I've not seen that from us in here at all. Um, so the first two measures. So we can't have ice. Like, I didn't, I know ice is okay. Like I said, it's water. Anything, with anything sugar. sugar or, you know, something like that. Gum or candy or food that will get stuck in the instrument and cause mold and grossness and corrosion and bad things for more. Um, so the first two measures in Tone Builder play the lower notes. We'll play low C, low C, low C, low C, and then low B. We'll jump up to the A in measure number three. So let's play the Tone Builder. Low B flat is first valve, and write it in there if you forget. Ready? Here we go. The first two measures starting in low C. Ready? One and two, Tone Builder, go. That's too high A T one and two. Ready? And one and two, A, set and go. Set and go. 
smooth and pretty, stagger, breathe, okay? Long and smooth, full value. Buzz with me on the corral. Take your mouthpiece off your French ring. I'll play your buzz. Ready? And one, and three, and buzz, and go. Trying to breathe in non-normal spots, not at the end of the measure. I took a breath in between the two half notes, which hopefully somebody else will be playing through, and that way the sound will continue to seem like I never have to take my breath. Okay, here we go. Here's our corral. Let's play it together. It starts on an F. Here's your F. Ready? One and three. And let's play the corral. Horns are up, horns are up, be ready please. One and two corral. F. <laughs> One 
and two D. Set and T one and two. Remember, anything that we're playing 52 through 58 is going to be on this page. So it's on page 13 of your performance spotlight, of your handout. This is line 56. Old MacDonald had a band. 
Um, look at the roadmap of this song. When I say the roadmap, I say, where are you going? Like, do you have repeats? Are there first endings, second endings? Is there a DS? Lots of stuff that you got to know. We haven't played a DS yet, but I'll show that to you sometime. It's on the back, it's on the of, the back of what we were just playing. It's okay, no problem. So, all my all had a band. There is a repeat sign. Okay, so we'll go back to the beginning when you do the repeat, and then you'll play 13 to the end of the final time. Um, what's the name of the notes right there in measure number one? That you got three of them. What is that, James? B flat. Yeah, it is B flat because of the key signature. There is one flat. All B's are going to be flat. Show me how to finger a B flat or an A sharp. T1. T1. T and 1 is an A sharp or a B flat. Show me how to finger a B natural or B. T2. Oh, I can't say that. Show me how to finger a C, high C, third space C, trigger. Show me how to finger an A, T1 and 2. Show me how to finger a G sharp or an A flat, T2 and 3. Show me how to finger an F sharp. What's the inharmonic spelling for F sharp? Uh, G flat. What's the inharmonic spelling for E flat? Uh, e sharp. D sharp. D sharp. We said D sharp. That's right. What is the inharmonic spelling for A sharp? B flat. What's the inharmonic spelling for F sharp? G flat. What's the inharmonic spelling for G flat? E, F, sharp. F sharp. Wait, no E. It's not on E. No. I'm changing it to E. No. <laughs> you don't get to do that. Okay, so the first note's a B flat and it's high. Try that. Three B flats in a row, please. T1. Yep, all T1. And one, two, and three B flats in a row, T1. Okay, one, two, just three of them. And one, two, set, go. Here's your tongue. Two, 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 say that. Two, set, and go. Two, 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 play just like that. Ready? One, two, set. Again. Three, not four. And one, two, three, not four. That's important. That's on the page. Three, not four. And one, and two, again, and go. Three, not four. One, two, and three, two, set, go. Thank you. Um, B4 is what? Uh, F. F. So you just let go of the trigger, keep your first finger down. Do that. Ready? B flat, B flat, B flat, F1. To just let go of the trigger to go from C or to go from B flat to F. Wait, and B flat to one. Yep. Oh, and B one. Nope. And one. To B flat is T one. F is one. Stop. Go load up for the F. B flat, B flat, B flat, F. One, two, and try again and set and go. Four notes only, don't play any extra so I can hear. One, okay, then stop that. One, and two, and one, and two, and set, and go. Look at your music when you play. One, two, don't make a bad sound, please. Ready, one, and two, and one, and two, four notes only. Stop, let me try that. Go. Josh, yes, sir. Not bad, not bad. Christina, go. Good job. Go. It's okay, keep this pressure up. Yeah, you had it, you had it. Don't, don't stop this time. Even if you mess up, don't stop. Close. Land on the F in the right spot. Hear the F before you get there. So you're thinking these B flats? B flat, B flat, B flat. Before I even play that F, I gotta hear that F in my head. Beautiful. <laughs> I should have been a singer. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Say your letters with me at the beginning. One, two, say your letters with me at the beginning. Go. B flat, B flat, B flat, F, G, G, F. B flat, B flat, F, F, B flat. F, B flat, B flat, B flat, F, G, G, F. B flat, B flat, F, F, B flat. Play that much. Ready? It's like three notes. Ready? And one, two, and beginning to there. Set and go. B flat. So more Fs and B flats, but you do have two A flats. So this is pick up to measure nine. <clears throat> Listen to this. 
Do that for me. Four and one, two, three. F, F, B flat, B flat, B flat. Ready? I'll give you one, two, three. Come in on beat four. These are the eight notes before measure nine. And one, two, one, two, three. Rest. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three. And up here, where would we go? Thirteen. No. No, it says G. The second time, go to the beginning and go back to the top. You go to the beginning, and then the second time, Logan, you would take thirteen. So you go back to the beginning after the repeat. So here's the up to nine the first time. Listen. Four. Rest. Two. Three. Four. Three. Four. Then here comes the repeat. I go back to the beginning. On the second time I got to 13, I would continue and go on to the last line. Look at the last line. And here comes half notes. See, listen. Here's the last line. So here's the half note. This is the third measure of the last line. 13, 14, 15, measure 15. So look at the last two measures. B flat, F, F, G, F, F, D. Say that with me. The last two measures. Ready? One, two, say it, go. B flat, F, F, G, F, F, D. Again, last two measures. One, two, try again. B flat, F, F, G, F, F, D. Try it. Last two measures. Keep your first valve down for F and D. And one and three. Try the last two measures. Set and go. Again. One, two, the last two measures. Set and go. Last two measures, ready? And one, and two, and the last two measures. We're all playing, buddy. And one, and two, last two measures, go. If I back up to measure 13, can we do 13 to the end? Yeah. All right, let's do 13 to the end. I won't do the whole thing with repeat uh, so that we can go on to the next one. But let's go 13 to the end. What's up? A G can be played T1, but it's normally like open. G's open. So B flat's T1, F is first, G is open. Here we go, 13. One and three. This is the second time through, and we're taking the ending, which is starting at 13. And one and two, 13, and go. Um, Ode to Joy, I'm going fast so that we don't see these for the first time tomorrow in uh, full band. Um, here's Ode to Joy. So we got four, four time. This is actually easier than the other ones that we've played so far. Uh, so look what you got here. <laughs> This is the first four measures. Say your letters once. Ready? One, three, and say your letters. Two, set, go. <laughs> Mouthpiece, or something like going, 
and one, and two, try it again. All air is inside your French horn with good sounds. One, and two, and 57, two, and set, and go. <laughs> So let's uh, start the beginning and not stop until nine. Go in the beginning and not stop till nine. Rhythm's easy, notes are so simple. Ready? And one, and three, and one, and two, 57, go. <laughs> Measure 10 on the upbeat of measure 10, upbeat of two. Measure 10, upbeat of two. Measure 10, upbeat of two. Which note am I speaking about? James has it. What is it? It is. What's its name? <laughs> That's the downbeat of two. Oh, oh, me. B what? Yes. It is B flat. B flat is finger T1. Logan, what is the inharmonic spelling for B flat? Um, <laughs> give me a minute. Okay. C, no, A, oh, no, A sharp. Yeah. Oh how do you finger, how do you finger an A sharp, Logan? Um, yeah. How do you finger a B flat, Logan? It's a G1. Yeah. You just want to be I'm not messing with you. I'm just messing How do you finger a G Sharp, we oh, have oh, oh. uh, How do you finger an A flat, Riley? Yep. How do you finger an E flat, oh, uh, Caleb? Wait, Caleb. E, e, e flat. Two, three. How do you finger an E flat, One, Avery? Oh, six, How do you finger a D sharp? Oh. Ella? Two. Yes. Thanks. How do you finger an F sharp, Angela? Two. How do you finger a G flat, Caleb? B flat, B flat, B flat. What's T2? T2, T2. That's G sharp. Horrible. G flat, think about its uh, corresponding fingering. T2, I think I Even though technically you could play T102, that's not what I'm asking. So. Second. F sharp. Yes! F sharp. We will see y'all tomorrow for full bands. Oh, <laughs> 